Good morning. It was raining all day yesterday and it's heavy rain is forecast from like 3 p.m. today. It's Sunday. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go straight down to um, the bike trails and go mountain biking. And I live quite close to Holden Forest Park, which is a forestry commission. Wait, Forestry England? Forestry Commission? I don't know. Forestry England. It's a Forestry England forest <laughs> on a hill, um, but it's got amazing, they've like curated these amazing mountain bike trails. I go there quite often, but I haven't been there for like a month or two. And it's just been really wet and cold and not very, haven't been feeling very enthused. So I'm really excited to go today because it's 10 degrees outside and it's only 8.37 in the morning. So it's actually warm. I'm wearing short shorts, my short mountain bike shorts, because the only long ones I have are thermal and I think it'll be too warm for that. Um, but it's super beautiful and I love it. And the great thing about um, Forestry England trails is that you like they're graded so you know like green blue red black whatever um, but you know that they're just gonna be so good so I really like it there's loads of like unmarked trails around here too I'm not a huge fan because uh, <laughs> whenever you go down one there'll be something that is completely unexpected and that I just don't want to do Anyway, so I'm going to go do the red trail um, today. Oh, there's so many dead spiders in here. God. Um, I'm going to go do the red trail today, which is my favourite. And I love it so much. It's so beautiful. And it's always, like, pretty damp and a bit... It's, quite, like, always really green. And I don't know if it's going to be green right now because we're in March and spring hasn't sprung yet. Um... So everything's still really grey and brown, which has kind of been depressing me for the last couple of months, actually. I'm struggling a bit with this tail end of winter because it doesn't seem to be ending. But I have seen snowdrops. There are daffodils out. The trees will wake up eventually. Like, I guess they're just sleeping in this year. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to get my bike ready because it's got a flat. Um... Yeah, and then I'm gonna go hit the trails. Yay!
Well, that was legit an amazing ride. Uh, we ended up doing the red and then the one of the blues at Holden um, right after each other because the red near the very very end of the red it leads you can go into the blue and while the blue is like half an hour long and the red was already 45 minutes maybe they just like by the time you finish the red you're so pumped up that yeah just did the blue as well and it was great and amazing and I love it and every time I go up there I love it even more because it just flows so nicely and because it's the same track like route every time you can really feel how much better you get um and even though i haven't done it for a while like i just felt so good so yeah it was brilliant and now i'm cooking breakfast and not breakfast because it's quarter past 12 um but brunch lunch i don't know it's what i would normally have for breakfast on sundays which includes spicy beans from Sainsbury's. The best beans you can get. Also spinach, mushrooms, hash browns, vegan sausages. It's basically a breakfast of kings. But what I really want to talk about is like, where are the women on the trails? So that is what I'm going to talk about after I've eaten something and drank my coffee. <laughs> So what I actually wanted to talk about was where are the women on the mountain bike trails? And I can kind of extrapolate this out because where are, where is anybody on the mountain bike trails? Like the green route uh, at Holden is always really busy. Um, it's flat pretty much. It's lots of kids on like balance bikes and things like that. Um, you can run on it too. There's people just walking their dogs. Like it's generally a very laid-back affair and it's always really really busy but there are two blue trails and then there's a red trail and then there are sections of black um, and I can't speak for the sections of black because I've literally never been on one so the blue trails there are two there's one that I consider a kind of warm-up track which is pretty flat kind of gravelly um, yeah it's nice I don't find it that interesting but it's a good warm-up track and you can absolutely smash around it and then there's another blue trail called the kiddens trail and that's fantastic like i challenge anybody to not enjoy that trail um there's nothing very surprising about it in a risky kind of way so even if you don't have much experience you can do it you can take it really slowly and it's just so fantastic it flows so beautifully and it's just really well put together and then there's the red trail and i do see people on the blue trails but not, not that much. Like if I'm doing either of them, I might see one other group of people. So it could be one person, two people, or three people, always together. You know, I've so rarely seen more than that. Quite a few people on e-mountain bikes on it too. So it's always really quiet. But I mean, the car park at Holden, Holden Forest is full. Like it is full on the weekends. And yet the trails are, the blues and reds are empty. <laughs> Um, maybe they get busier later in the day. I mean, the latest I've been there is probably half 11 in the morning on a Sunday. Like, I always go quite early. But I'm always back later, you know, from doing it. And there's still, like, no one on it. Anyway, the red is absolutely out of this world. And I avoided doing the red for ages because I just sort of thought, like, in the car park, I would sometimes see these guys in, like, full face helmets and, like, full sus bikes. And they all, you know, had spent... 20 grand is so windy outside 20 grand on their setups and I was like oh they're probably the ones doing the red trail so I won't do that because while I've been mountain biking for a long time um I don't like dress like that or like have that kind of bike so part of me is just like well I don't belong there I'm not good enough obviously anyway I started riding the red trail last year I had done it before once or twice but um it was a long time ago and yeah, whatever. So I started riding it last year or the year before, no, it must be the year before now. And it is so good. And the funny thing is like, I literally never see anyone on it. Uh, maybe I see two people and that is rare that I will see anybody at all. So like me and my partner always do it together. It's so wicked. And there are some bits on it that you would struggle with if you were, you know, relatively new to mountain biking. 
um, more mentally, I think, than physically. But it depends how good your technical skills are and your bike handling skills are, obviously. So they're like little rocky drop-offs and things like that. Um, but they look steeper than they actually are. So they look much steeper from above than they are. But now, after doing it a lot of times, there's nothing on it that bothers me. Um, apart from this one really rocky uh, switchback that leads onto a fire track, which I always get off and walk my bike down because there's a sheer drop off the edge and it's not very far, but you certainly wouldn't want to fall down it. And I just feel like I'm gonna go over the edge or slip, my bike's, my tire's gonna slip or whatever. But yesterday, a guy did actually, funnily enough, come down after me, like all the gear, um, full size bike, like really looked like a pro, and he fell off on that exact corner. So I was like, mm, I feel like I'm justified. Not that I need a justification. Uh, but just fine getting off and walking it. Anyway, so this leads me back to where are the women on the trails? Slash where is anyone on the trails? Firstly, I think I forget sometimes that mountain biking is a niche sport. Because I grew up cross racing and off-road riding, like I hesitate to use the term mountain biking because I grew up in the New Forest, which is really flat and there's not really any like single track or hills or anything like that. But I did grow up off-road off riding on a mountain bike. A 90s mountain bike, but a mountain bike nonetheless. Gravel riding, really. Although it was, the, term wasn't, uh, the term wasn't invented back in the day. So I do have quite a lot of confidence, bike handling anyway, and off-road riding and things like that. But I didn't really start mountain biking properly until, for, until the last few years. Um, but I was previously empowered to ride anyway. So I am... Um, um, an exception but man, like when you obviously ride mountain bike I work in the outdoor industry as well so like I see a lot of mountain biking gravel riding and stuff like that in the course of my daily work and I speak to people who like to do it so I kind of ex like you ex end up existing in a bubble where you think that oh this like loads of people mountain bike but actually when I think about it very few people mountain bike. I know a lot more road cyclists and people who don't cycle at all. That's one reason, obviously, why there are few people and women on the trails because there are just few mountain bikers, full stop. However, these are specific mountain biking trails. So you would think that if you're gonna see mountain bikers and female mountain bikers, this is where you would see them. But I really don't see any and I only see men. And I don't know what the reason for that is. I'm sure there's plenty of reasons. Mountain biking wasn't a female-led sport, isn't still a female-led sport. Um, so there's few opportunities for young women, girls, children to get involved in mountain biking. Or there would have been back in the day, you know, why am I not seeing 50-year-old women mountain biking? Well, because it didn't even exist when they were children and teenagers. So like picking up the sport early, that wouldn't have happened. Also, I think there's a bit of a, like this still happens to me and I've been riding for ages, is that I see men dressed up in like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of mountain bikes brand specific, mountain bike specific brand clothing and like super fancy helmets. All helmets sold in this country have to abide by the same safety rules. Yes, there are obviously benefits to different styles of helmets, like full face helmets over not full face helmets. But um, these trails, I don't think require a full face helmet, uh, unless you're riding extremely aggressively and your brakes are broken. And they are riding bikes that cost more than a small car. And that's not to say that women don't dress like this as well. I'm sure they do. And I have seen a couple, but I like it, the men really outweigh women in this field. And a lot of the time they're dressed super pro, like they're about to compete for the Olympics in mountain biking. And that can put people off, I think. Both men and women, like whoever, it can put anyone off when you see somebody who really looks like they know what they're doing and you're like, oh shit, I don't belong here because I don't look like that and I wouldn't buy those things unless I was a pro, therefore these people must be pro. It's all the stories we tell ourselves about what other people must be. But honestly, I'm not a particularly strong rider. Yes, I'm stronger than the average person off the street because I do this all the time. 
but I'm not like super fast or anything. And if I come across something I don't want to ride, I will get off and walk my bike. But I frequently, I've overtaken these kinds of men before so many times because like purchasing things does not equate to physical ability. That's not to say that all people who are dressed in all the gear and have the fanciest bike aren't very good at the sport. Um, I'm not making blanket statements here. I'm just saying that it's the story you tell yourself about how somebody looks or your own ability or whatever. The only criteria to ride the red at Holden is that you personally think that you can ride the red at Holden. And maybe even you're not quite sure, but you can walk your bike around because there's no place on it that you have to be riding. Like, if you feel uncomfortable, you can just get off and walk your bike until the next section or whatever. And any section that you might feel uncomfortable on is gonna be very small. There's also plenty of get out points where you can get back onto the road or back onto a fire track or whatever. Obviously the red is, you know, most people who want to go mountain biking will probably start on the blue. And again, like there's no part of the blue that you, like I see people, when I do see people on the blue, I often see them stopped. Um, their families are waiting for a child or whatever. So you can stop whenever you want to. And if I hear a rider coming up behind me on any trail, they're obviously going faster than I am. So I just pull over and just stop and then they let, I let them through. And they're always like, yeah, cheers, have a good day. Everyone is really friendly. And that's what happens to me, you know, like I'll come up behind someone and they'll hear me and they'll get over and then I will cycle past them. It's very friendly and it's very accessible. If it's, if what is stopping you is thinking that you're not good enough or that you can't do it, like you can, like you just take it slower and you stop more often or whatever. You don't even need a bike because at loads of these places that are run by Forestry England, including Holden, you can hire a bike and it's like, I don't know how much it costs, but it's like, like 20 pounds or something to hire a pretty nice mountain bike. So you don't even need to spend like a ton of money on a mountain bike. Mountain biking is a fantastic sport for men, women, kids. It's so much fun. And the funny thing is that, and this is what I guess makes it a bit difficult, is that it becomes more fun when you can really do it. And you don't need to be strong to really do it. You just need to have, be quite confident handling your bike in tricky, rooty scenarios. But you build up to that. Um, because the real fun of mountain biking comes in these incredible, like, flowy, single track sections where you can sort of, you don't have to really touch the brakes and it's just the, it's just the perfect trail for you to just absolutely go for it. You don't have to be going very fast, just like the momentum of the bike. But it's, it's just so, it's so good. It's so enjoyable. But it comes at a certain level. And that level isn't, like, hardcore or anything. It's just having, you don't have to go fast but um, you do have to be confident in your bike handling skills. And that just comes with time. But the way to do that is to just start now and get on the blues, which are so friendly. Like, honestly, I've seen three, four-year-olds on them and it's they're so, so friendly, these kinds of trails. And you can just go slowly as you want and then you can build up your speed and really test yourself on different sections there'll be like slightly rooty sections slightly rocky sections gravel earth all of these kinds of things and the more you do it the more confident you'll become in just being able to shift your weight on the bike and that is the real key to mountain biking and when you start getting more confident on that then you can start testing yourself more and one of the great things I like about these trails is because, as I said before, like obviously you're doing the same trail every time if you go to the same trail centre. Because even other trail centre, like bike trail centres around the country, only have a few trails uh, of each colour grade. But because you're doing the same trail every time, it means that you can see your progress so clearly. Like even with the red trail, which I've now ridden so many times, but there are still sections now where I used to break way more than I do now, and now I can go so much faster. And you literally get to know individual routes, like roots as in tree roots. And that is so much fun because you can really test yourself and then the conditions change like whether it's dry wet the red sometimes becomes an actual stream so that makes it really different and interesting it's just it's just great and all the men i meet out on the trails which again isn't that many because the trails are so undersubscribed but they're all like super friendly and everyone is out there having a nice time everyone is just like got this look on their face where they're just like yeah it's so good so it's really lovely 
kind of, I hesitate to use the word community, but it's just nice. And the only thing about it that breaks my heart is that there are not more women out there of any age. And I think that that's a real shame because you don't need to dress in a certain way. I wear road cycling gear on the trails and I sometimes feel like a bit of an idiot because nobody else wears road cycling gear on the trails. But I mean, all you need is a pair of padded shorts. And you're out of the saddle most of the time, so you don't even really need that. I mean, do you wear padded shorts? But you don't need any special clothes for it. And yes, the shops sell special mountain biking clothes, but at the end of the day, they're just clothes. Like, that's all they are. They're just things to cover your body. As long as you're wearing padded shorts, which you can get super cheap, then it doesn't matter what you wear. Like, I honestly wear full-on lycra road cycling gear most of the time because... That's what I've got. And I'm not gonna spend money on other stuff that I don't need. So forget about what you look like. If you don't have a mountain bike, doesn't matter. Go and hire one for the day, for a few hours. Like I don't mountain bike for very long. I'm literally out there for like one, two hours um, when I go. So whatever. You don't have to be a mountain biker to go mountain biking. You don't have to be anything special. Doesn't matter what your gender is, just it's like if you want to have a go then go and have a go um but speaking about that there are women specific rides sometimes at different trail centers like beginner sessions or whatever so google it i don't know look up events happening at your local one if you want to get involved because it is so so much fun and it gives you so much self-confidence anyway i'm going to stop talking now because i've been talking for wow a long time um so yeah i don't know why there aren't more women out on trails. Obviously, there's many, many reasons for it. And it's a complicated subject, but whoever you are, whatever gender you are, if you want to go mountain biking or you just want to try something new, remember, you don't have to become anything. You don't have to really buy anything. You can just rent a bike. You can wear pretty much any old clothes. Do invest in padded shorts. Yeah, give it a go because it's great. <laughs> Bye.